Hi guys and welcome back to the Real Huggable Panda, or if you're new to the channel then welcome. In today's video we are going to be talking about the return of PlayStation Home and its multiplayer. As you can see in the background behind this is Nagato's Revenge video from the Destination Home server and uh, he has made a trailer of the multiplayer in action and as you can see you can join friends, play the mini games, pool, bowling, join up with friends, go to apartments, go to spaces. It's absolutely amazing to see PlayStation Home back and working with multiplayer. So if you're wondering at home how you can play PlayStation Home, then it's pretty simple. You will need a jailbroken PlayStation 3. You can either do it yourself with the tutorials in the Discord server for Destination Home, or you can buy one offline, which is what we did. Or if you have a powerful PC, then you will be able to run the emulator to get PlayStation Home to work on your PC. So if that's something you're interested in, then please don't hesitate to join the Destination Homes uh, Discord server. There's loads of people in there that will help you out. They're very nice people. And there's loads of people to talk to about PlayStation Home also. So another thing that I would like to touch on in this video is cash donation. If you or anyone you know has a PlayStation 3 with PlayStation Home still installed, it would be very helpful to the PlayStation Home project if you could donate your cash. Now what I mean by cash is, not the money kind of cash, but the cash of your PlayStation 3's memory of PlayStation Home with the files. So if you donate your cash to Destination Home, you can potentially be bringing back spaces, clothing items and furniture that will help to make the online of Destination Home's PlayStation Home servers more full. So sometimes you might unlock a space, some um, furniture or some clothing items from your cash. And the cash donation has been a big part of reviving the PlayStation Home experience. So if you or anyone you know has a PlayStation 3 and you would like to donate your cash, then please uh, join the Discord server or let me know in the comments down below in the comment section. And that would be a great help to the PlayStation Home revival. So now we've just briefly talked about Destination Home and what's happening with PlayStation Home Multiplayer. We have got a couple of screenshots that I would like to show you guys as well, which are absolutely amazing to see. And it takes me right back to 2009 when I first joined PlayStation Home looking at these images. And it just makes me feel so nostalgic. And hopefully it will be as good as it looks. So the first image we can see on the screen is the Destination Home team in the playground and this is showing the multiplayer working and it just has that same feel as we had in 2009 to 2015 where we all would just hang out in our favourite spaces dancing and goofing around like a bunch of lunatics. So this is fantastic to see. I hope it is as good as it looks, you know, going back onto multiplayer. This is just insane that I'm looking at an image from 2022 after seven or eight years of PlayStation Home being closed and here it is once again on our screens with multiplayer working and this is absolutely incredible. I can't get my head around that we're going back to PlayStation Home. The next image we are looking at is the Mew Mew ship or the Mai Mai ship. I'm not sure how you pronounce the name of it, I'm sorry, but this is fantastic. Not only do we see the Destination Home team sitting down in the same server together, but they're also typing messages to each other. Now, if there's anything iconic about PlayStation Home, it is those speech bubbles and look how nostalgic it is to see them once again typing to people in a server. Now, playing offline is great. I love it. Walking around the spaces once again. But finally, seeing people in the same server typing to each other, that fills me with excitement. And hopefully, we'll be able to meet up with some subscribers from the channel, meet up with the Destination Home developers, and just have a really good time on PlayStation Home once again. Fantastic. 
And probably my favorite of all out of all of the screenshots is this one at the bowling alley. This is the most nostalgic image I've seen of PlayStation Home. Not only have we got the Destination Home team together in the same server, but we've got a bunch of bubble machines. Imagine we reunite with PlayStation Home in the multiplayer servers. We whip out our bubble machines and start doing some rave dancing. That is what it is all about. Having fun, chatting to friends. It is just brilliant. I cannot wait to play the multiplayer of PlayStation Home. Looking at these screenshots, it's fantastic to see the amount of work that has gone into bringing PlayStation Home back. As I keep saying, hopefully it is as good as it looks. I'm sure it will be. I cannot wait to try it. Now, as I said previously, if you do have PlayStation Home cash that you can donate on your PlayStation 3 or you know someone who has a PlayStation 3, then please do not hesitate to jump into the Destination Home Discord or comment on this video or in the link in the description below, you can see Nagato's YouTube channel. Just comment. If you've got a PlayStation 3 and you can help revive PlayStation Home, it will be absolutely amazing. Uh, so that's the end of this video. It's just a short video just showing you the progress that Destination Home has made and just telling you that the multiplayer is coming very soon. As soon as I get any more news, I will upload a video straight away. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to upload much videos recently, but a lot of things have happened in real life for me, and I just haven't had the time to make a lot of YouTube videos. But we're going to be back streaming PlayStation Home, and we're going to be back making videos. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and see you in the next one. Peace.